me see. The truth why, let me see where this shit is at. I said the exact name of it. So I said it's the it's the truth behind Kendrick Lamar uh not wanting to rap with J. Cole, pretty much. Huh. And that's the way I labeled it. That's why I put it up because my point was at the time was Cole and Doc were supposed to do an album. We were supposed to get out. We were, they was they was talking about this album yeah. for years. And we had moments where instances where the only song that they got together that they rapped on that I can recall was uh the shit where uh, uh dumping out the roof. Do 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 the shit they got through was Big Crit on that? No, no, they, no, so they got they got they they got they got two. They got the We Ready was Cole Dot and, and Crit. And then they got the shit, uh, I can't think of the fucking name, but Anyway, co-producing, yeah. that shit. They got that okay. shit together. Yeah. They got the shit on Cole's Born Center, but Kendrick is just on the hook. It's not yeah. rapping. Right. So I remember. Yeah. Jeezy went on the Breakfast Club. I was talking about, man, I'm working with young niggas, man. I'm working with Kendrick and J. Cole. And they was like, oh, shit, you got a song with both of them. I got a song with them together. Oh shit, nigga, we gotta these niggas about to be rapping together. I think it's American Dream, whatever the fuck the song's called. Man, the album comes out, nigga. I ain't listening, man. I'm going straight to bomb. I'm waiting for this nigga Kendrick to rap, bro. This nigga's just on the hook again. He's not rapping. So now I'm mad at Jeezy, because you told us you had I, that this 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 is this ain't this ain't what niggas you know what yeah. niggas want, Jeezy. Yeah. You play with me. Yeah. Second, why the fuck this nigga Kendrick won't rap with Cole, bro? Now I'm getting mad at this nigga. Like, yeah. bro, are you, are you afraid? Like, why aren't you rapping with this nigga, bro? <laughs> so I was so so. My yeah, point was yeah. when first I was like, that's why we didn't get the album. I think Kendrick didn't want to rap with a nigga that he knew was better than him. In my opinion, I feel like Kendrick doesn't like to rap with niggas who rap. Better than him in his eyes. I think he likes to rap with niggas that he feels he's a better rapper than. Yeah. And I think that goes along with part of the reason why he feels some type of way about Drake. I'm not saying that Drake is superbly a better rapper, but I think he feels some type of way about Drake's stardom. And I think, I think so. And, I and I think Kendrick I feels that. like that should be me. I don't agree with that. You don't think Kendrick feels like he should be the biggest? No. I, I, I don't I think, think he, he feels like it should be him. I think he just feels it shouldn't be Drake. The reason why I say I think Kendrick thinks it should be him is because he's adamantly saying, nigga, I wear the crown. I'm the best. Oh, he thinks he's the best. But that's what I'm saying. But, but, but everybody I don't think he puts should, Drake as the best. I don't think he feels I don't think he wants to start him. I think he wants people to acknowledge I'm lyric I'm he wants lyrically, to be noted or I'm like lyrically that. better. I'm the better artist. I make more sound projects than he does. I'm just an overall better musician than him. I don't think he wants anybody. I don't think he, like, for instance, like, I, I don't think if if somebody was like Drake or Kendrick for the Super Bowl, he would be mad that Drake got a Super Bowl. He just, as long as you say, mm. that nigga's a better artist. If Drake got a solo Super Bowl before him? Yeah. I think he'd feel that some type of way. I don't, I don't think so. I think he would. I don't think so. I, I, I think he feels, I, I think he would feel a way because... Niggas don't acknowledge that just because he got the Super Bowl nod doesn't mean that he's a better musician or a better artist than me. He just, he's giving you the, the easy, he's spoon feeding y'all this shit. Mm -hmm. Just like what fucking Yasin Bey was saying. This shit is, it's, it's so marketable that I think of shopping when I hear this shit. Like, For sure. it's, it's so easy to me to, to digest this shit that, yeah. like, of course, I want to see this shit at fucking the Super Bowl yeah. over Kendrick. For Kendrick sure. is cool, but like I'm not trying to think about this shit at Super Bowl. <laughs> like, I mean, but he does have songs that he can perform at the Super Bowl. He does. He, he do absolutely, he do absolutely he, he, he can do does. As much, as much as people say I hate Kendrick, no, I, and, and that's I not give what him I mean. Flowers. But yeah, I give him his flowers. The argument I always hear, and especially, especially from young people, and I feel like they tell it the 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 most honest. Yeah. Kendrick's the better artist, but I like Drake more because he gives me more. He he can sing, he can rap, 
his songs are fun. I can hear it in the club. It's just, it's just more, it's more fun. Rap. It's just, he can say he can rap. Yep. it's easier to, to I get it. pull it's in. Easy. It's easier but to almost it's all of them digest. say Kendrick is the better artist. Sorry, I'm, I'm babysitting the shit. No, no, you good. Um, but I don't. I think the the my my argument more so is I don't think it's about the stardom. I think really it's about the acknowledgement. Yeah. You don't have to I don't need to be a bigger star. I like even in fucking Euphoria and I think he truly means this shit. Like I love what he said I love when you have success cuz I'm I'm blessed. I'm good over here. Keep us dancing and moving and all that shit. That's dope. I think that's great. But nigga, like I'm a better. Shit. You don't got a classic. I'm yeah. that nigga. I got classics. I got yes. more. I'm more. My shit more John Blaze than your shit. Like <laughs> that's what he's trying to say. Do you believe that? Absolutely. You think Drake don't have a classic? I don't think he does. From my personal opinion. From my. From my personal opinion, however, if I'm if I'm going from an unbiased yeah. standpoint, I think, like you said, take care and nothing was the same. But for me, I think that's what's hard about this whole thing too. Is I will be honest in that, like Drake, I'm one of the few people where Drake is not digestible to me. Listening to his shit is like listening to a playlist that I didn't put together. It's like listening to some shit that like it's cool. I don't hate it. It's some so shit. So you did on... like more life. Um, more life was like really a playlist. It's <coughs> that was really a playlist. Okay, here's another like honest, honest telling about me. It's hard to get through a whole a, a full Drake project for me. So it's like mm -hmm. I know songs. Like you might play something from More Life. And I'd be like, oh, is this from For for, for All the Dogs? You'd be like, no, nah, it's from Nord uh, More Life. And I'm like, oh, shit, I, don't, I never even heard this shit before. See, man, I don't... See, bro, and I, I, think this is, I think this is where... This is where I get in trouble because a lot of people who know me... I don't want to say a lot, but there's a decent amount of people who know me, bro. They, they feel like... They think I'm a Drake fan, Right? Like I, I just think but, I'm a Drake but, but but they but they do it a lot of times to kind of like troll me type shit because they know I'm a cold fan like they know bro like they yeah like niggas know like that's that's my dog you know what I'm saying like but Drake yeah. it's like and I feel like everybody is a Drake fan to a certain extent mm -hmm. because just like you said bro I can probably play whatever whatever type of vibe you like from Drake. I can find 15 to 20 songs of that vibe for you mm -hmm. from him. From Drake? Or? From just Drake. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. If you, like you can, yeah. he's done you, enough. You're going to get some dance hall. Yeah, he's you're done gonna, enough. You might get a little jazz. Yeah. You're going to get some boom bap. Yeah. Backpack. Like he you're going to get a little you, bit you, of everything. Tough talk. You're going to yeah, get all this gonna, shit. Yeah, like you're you're going to spin the gonna, block a couple you're times. Gonna, you're going to get all that yeah, from him. Yeah. So it's like, it's hard for me. To sit here and say, nigga, I'm not a fan of this nigga. Like, like you got it. You got it. Every I think everybody's a Drake fan to a capacity. To a capacity. To a capacity. He might not be a favorite. But yeah. You're a fan of this nigga to a to a capacity. And your favorite nigga got a got songs with this nigga. So and you it, love. It, it, <laughs> so uh, another point that fucking that was made in Euphoria was I like Drake with the melodies. I I do. Like Marvin's Room, I fucking love that song. I hate Marvin's Room. You hate Marvin's Room? I love that song. A lot of people love but it. But that is funny because I feel like that's a, that's kind of the song he's referencing. He's like, when you say nigga, like, I, it's weird. <laughs> but I do like that. Like, um, I like what's the one he got with Janae Iko from uh from uh, uh, from Time? Right? It's from uh. That's a good. I, I that's love a that good song. Joint. Like, I like that's when he joint. gets in his. His, that's a good you joint. know, romantic bag. I yeah. like romantic Drake. No, that's a good joint, bro. That's a. <sighs> I like, bro. I can't. I can't. I. I can't say that there's. I want to say that the only. I, I say my least like, the least version of Drake that I, I, I like the most. Um, I hate it when he does the fucking. Uh, the uh, the year the British the the, the UK accent. Mons. Yeah, yeah. So it kills like <laughs> early on. But Fine. late, but lately when he's I've I don't like bro, that fucking project, the uh, 
the dance hall joint. Uh-huh. The dance oh, hall. Oh, uh, never mind. Honestly, that, never mind. Honestly, never mind. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker. I didn't really listen to it. Listen, I ain't gonna hold bro, you. As a nigga with no rhythm. I can't. I got. I you got, don't got rhythm. Man, I ain't yeah. got my feet terrible, bro. bro yeah, I, can, I'm, I'm, I got when it comes to dancing. I'm I can do sure. other shit, but when it comes to dancing, bad for work. Yeah, bro. That whole album goes, bro. And like, I'm not even a fan of that type of music. I don't want to say the whole album. Yeah, more than half of it goes, bro. I'm talking yeah. about the shit that you talking about. You like, mm-hmm. it goes, bro. Yeah, and I'm I gotta like, fuck with it. and I'm like, bro, like. I can kind of see as an artist why you would hate this thing. Yeah, absolutely. Like I can see as an artist is even if you do For music with him, I done music with him. I can see like like Kendrick was saying like I hate He's the unstoppable. way you hate the way you talk, hate the way you like the way that you walk the way yeah, that you talk, and, and the, hate like, the way that you dress. <laughs> yes, and it's just like bro, and it's like one of the things it's like why the fuck does he have? I don't want to say half, but why the fuck is he? The bar slash the face of rap or hip hop, like why him? Because at, at the end of the day, he he yeah, is, right? He's the, the biggest rapper. It, He's the no, biggest rapper. You're, no, I'm not. I'm not that. My my that was towards because we. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons that he's in that place. No. Listen, yeah. I, I, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I know. I listen. And the most crazy thing is, I had uh, so I, I I used to do a podcast. Well, I've been, I've been doing podcasts, for years, but I was doing a podcast with one of my old older co-hosts, bro. And uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, but anyway, right, but yeah. he 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 does clothes and all this type of shit, mm-hmm. and so we was chopping it up, chopping it up. We were talking mm-hmm. episodes. Yeah. Like, cause we we had took a break, yeah. Like a little two, three. It was around Christmas. We took a couple week break. Boom, we back at it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we jump back in and we we changed the setup. Like niggas was in their bag. Yeah, man. We get to fucking. We talk. We start talking about Tory and the Meg shit a little bit. Yeah. It's around that time, and then we kind of pivoted into uh to Drake a little bit. Yeah, and my dog is a huge Kanye fan. We mm-hmm. talked about Kanye a little bit too, so we pivoted into Drake. So we get into the Drake, bro. Listen, bro, we get into the Drake part, and I'm, I'm telling him, I was like, bro, this this nigga, he's like, he's he's protected. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> he, he, and I can see how my eye, bro's looking at. I was like, bro, he's he's good. Like, don't the music is good. The music is amazing. The music is phenomenal. He is that nigga, but. If they hit that button, he won't be that nigga no more. Okay, Drake. Yes, if really. They, if they decide, um, I see. I kind of see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's black and Jewish. Yeah, I, that so was, I, you, I you, won't you say the race of the doctor. Yeah, but. <laughs> yes, but, but you get what I'm saying. Like he's black and Jewish. You know what I mean? So he he's good. Yeah. The boy's good. Like, like yeah. he's, he's he's protected good. <laughs> He sounds good. Yeah. Like he's he's he yeah, checks, he's, all, he he's checks very all the well boxes. Covered. He yeah. checks all the boxes. He does. Yeah. If he pisses <laughs> off the right motherfucker, they're gonna go in that room and say, "No more." Hit that button, and they're gonna. Now he'll still be. You're right. Yeah. He'll still be Drake. Yeah. But the success in his music, it'll, you'll see a clear. Yeah. Dip in the numbers per se. He won't ever though. I don't he, think he will because he understands. Yeah. And he he's he's not an idiot, so he would yeah. never he, he would he never do something system. exactly. He would never do something that would mess up the bag per se. Mm-hmm. He's always going to do what's going to be in favor of mm-hmm. making making money. You know, what I'm saying making shit profitable for him or whatever. Like he's going to put himself in a position. Now, I think that the one thing that he does do that I don't want to say that they somewhat allow is he shits on the Grammys. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like the Grammys at all, and I think and and and, and, and I think mm-hmm. that also goes into why. See, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people they read these articles and sharing these other articles online. The average person doesn't know that Drake and Rolling Stone don't get along. I'm not surprised. Did you so see what, the article they wrote about it? They never write anything positive about Drake. Yeah, but but it's been like that for <laughs> years because he they got beef. But the average person they just see a negative article for Drake. They're gonna be oh that's just how everybody feels. Maybe a lot of people feel that way too, but Rolling Stone never says anything positive yeah. about this man Drake. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. So 
you see the way how I think that goes into his feelings towards a lot of these publications. Absolutely. That's why, because he's, I, I, I don't, if I don't think to my right mind, I don't think Drake has ever done any major radio station interview. I know he's been overseas in the UK and done like Tim Westwood and shit like that, but I'm right, talking about right. as far as America. Yeah. Yeah, I'm he's never done think, the Breakfast yeah. Club. He's never sat down with Ebro. Like he's never right done a major radio interview in the states. Mm-hmm. It, from what I remember, I could be yeah, wrong. I, can't, I, can't I know he's recall. done the UK shit. I know that. I know that. But over yeah. here, so he feels some type of way about the publication. For I feel, mm-hmm. you know, and like that's why you don't see an interview with Drake unless Drake has total control over the interview. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, this might be an Elliot Wilson, Wilson interview. But I'm Drake's gonna be the one to tell you oh, you can yeah, cut I this, you can put feel. this out, you can put this part out, take this part out. Mm-hmm. And if not, I'll just get it taken down. That's what he did to Bobby. He didn't like mm-hmm. he didn't like the interview. Mm-hmm. He had her play, they, they say he had her play the uh, I don't want mm-hmm. to take his inter- interview down. Mm-hmm. Now of course people got copies of it, he put it out, but right. she doesn't she's not getting anything from that Drake interview. Mm-hmm. Because creative differences you know what i mean so it's like <clears throat> for him i feel like i feel like that's kind of the one thing that kind of keeps him not completely i don't want to call him a plant but not completely on that side like mm-hmm. there's a part of him that disagrees with the system yeah and he disagrees with it with the system yeah and he disagrees with it, so he tried. I, I want to have control over my shit. Yeah. Fuck the Grammys. I don't need the Grammys. I don't need them. I don't, I don't give a fuck about the Grammys. You know Sometimes, what I'm about to I do? I think that shit is a decoy, to be honest. Sometimes too, but like yeah, he's had he, he's had times where he'll be like, I'm not even gonna submit my music. Mm-hmm. I won't submit it. Yeah. Because it's like okay, so now I, I and I think when artists do that, I think the public because before that, if you ask the average person. They don't know that artists have a, a period of time to submit their music. You have your mm-hmm. the, their 10, 11 month window to submit yeah. your music for the Grammys right. and then blase, blase. So if you don't submit your music, it's not going to be considered. Right. So the average person don't know that. They just think it comes out, Grammys. It comes mm-hmm. out, no, it's a process. If, they, if this artist wants to go up for a Grammy, they have to submit their music. If mm-hmm. not, they will not be going up for a Grammy. Mm-hmm. And if they don't care about the Grammys, they probably not going to submit their shit. Mm-hmm. And I think Drake, by doing that, him doing that, I think that kind of just kind of keeps him, yeah, humanized in a sense. It, like, it does. Like I'm yeah, not really. Yeah. I'm, I'm, very, I'm in the I system. Think it's strategic. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the system because man, I'm. I can't help that I was I'm Jewish. I can't help it. I can't help. Mm. It. I can't help. It. <laughs> I'm in it. Yeah, but I don't agree with him. Yeah. So he's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a. Uh... He's interesting, man. I'm, no, he is. I yeah. bro, like I said, yeah. I think I think Drake is. Yeah, I think Drake is. Uh, I get why people hate him, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Like, but that's corny. <laughs> yeah, I think it's corny to laugh in his face and hate him. But yes. And that's another thing. Everybody who feels some type of way about, he's helped them. Like he's helped them. I don't think that should be a circumstance. Well, no, 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 no. But what, no, but what I'm saying is, he's helped them, and they've dog. I'm. I wouldn't be at this point if it wasn't for this man. He did this. He did that. Like, if you look at, you can say the three. Let's say the four people: Metro, Future. You can say five: Kanye, Metro, Future, The Weeknd, Kendrick. You know how Kanye feels Wait, about Wait, you think Kanye needed Drake? No, no, no. But you okay. know how he feels about Drake. Like, he okay. feels like, he said it. I, I'm in a room with 15 writers. They can't write no shit. I hit Drake up. Drake comes and he's, yeah. he knocks his shit out the park. Like, he's yeah. he's giving Drake the highest of the highest of praise. Like, yeah. they, we don't know what, yeah. Kanye loves Drake when he wakes up Monday. He hates him by midnight when he goes yeah. to bed, bro. He's, he's back, bipolar. He's yeah. back and forth with it. You feel me? <laughs> but you know how that he's yeah. expressed how he's felt about Drake in a sense of right. helping him write shit, doing shit, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And you look at with Kendrick, the first major tour he ever went on was with Drake. Like a lot of people's introduction to, to Kendrick was that interlude on Take Care. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. There was a lot of people. A lot of people was like, I didn't. Some people, some people just found out years ago that that was Kendrick gonna take care. Mm-hmm. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Like if they not really in tune, oh that that wasn't Drake. Mm-hmm. No, man, that was Kendrick Lamar. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh shit, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so he gave him that look. You know what he did for Metro and Future. Like not saying they didn't have work. Met Future was doing his thing. Yeah. Yeah, but future, Drake, future. He, he 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 gave these niggas their biggest hits, bro. He did, you know. And I and I and I, I think for me, I'm like, bro, he gave y'all his biggest hits, nigga. Future, he gave you your last biggest hit. The fucking uh, wait for you, like. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you can't be mad at this nigga. I feel some type of way, but and y'all two done fell out ten different times for various reasons. Tour shit, not coming to the video shoot. Who who uh, did? Uh, Future and Drake, oh, like, they yeah. ever fell out numerous times, bro. Like they fall out, so it's just like it's just some shit. I'm just like, bro, like. Me tremendously get to this point, bro. So it's like even at. Even if I got a little bit of respect for you, I got enough because without you, I might not be at this level because my three of my five biggest songs, you're on it. Like, that matters. It, it, it is definitely, it's definitely something to think about. Yeah. Specifically with Ross, I think. Yeah. 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 You don't think so, Future? 